Hey Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for the energies from April to June. Uh, any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below, Sagittarius. I do have a deal going on right now for personals. It's a three-question video reading. It's 33-33, and you get it within three business days. This closes uh, at the end of the day on Saturday, April 20th, so everything's down below. We're going to go ahead and begin here and see what we've got for you. Sagittarius, April to June energies, Sagittarius. Mm, okay. The world. Anytime the world shows up, there's something big that's going to happen between April and June. Um, you know, because the world is literally like stepping out of one world into another. Um, I consider Wheel of Fortune to be of a similar, um, you know, energy. But yeah, I feel like you're closing a chapter. You're stepping into a new one. These red infinity symbols on the wreath here. This represents something that is going to change the course of your path forever. So, I mean, this is a big deal. We have the Four of Wands next. Some of you, you could move. This is the energy of home, family. Um, very interesting. Sagittarius. Because, you know, um, the world, it can be stepping out of one world into another. But this doesn't necessarily just have to be you. This could be somebody coming into the world, right? And we do have the Four of Wands. Like, what are these double lines remind you of, you know? So, um, we got the Six of Cups here as well, which can be a childlike energy. It's innocence. You see the child here on the card. So, that's all I'll say about that. But, you know, either way it goes, um, this is the energy of your world as you know it really changing. Um, you know, and that happening soon, you know, between April and June. So, uh, some of you, this could, like I said be changing homes or something of that nature so let's look let's see what else we got here the ace of cups showing up for the world there you go okay very fertile energy but also you know um when it comes to fertile energy this could literally be something being birthed into existence doesn't have to mean that it's a person right um it could represent some sort of creative idea that you have so it could be love like a new connection blossoming blooming i just feel like there's something there's very lively energy in your reading king of pentacles something stable something reliable solid um viable that type of energy with the king of pentacles showing up here there's something that is solid stable it's secure some of you are securing a new position but i really feel that for a lot of you this may have to do with a residence like a home something with home and family like you're securing something it's yours what's going on with the four of wands that's happy home happy family type of energy uh, somebody here might have venus and aries some of you are definitely involved with an aries or a taurus here where things are going to expand with them Some of you, uh, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I feel like there's been something that you've been conflicted about when it comes to home, family, or commitment. Laying down new roots, expanding. Some of you, it has to do with the beginning of something. It's like, well, this started a certain way, so I'm feeling a little bit uneasy about it, you know? It's, it's almost as if there's like a bad first impression here or something of that nature. It's a weird energy. You know, it's a weird energy. Some of you, you could be like, you know, getting into a commitment, meeting a person's family, it may start off kind of weird or vice versa. They meet your family and it starts off kind of weird. There's like a weird competitive type of energy. So some of you could be dealing with like a parent who's like that, a mother or a father who's like, you know, aggressive or competitive or overly protective, that type of energy, kind of weird, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. Um, I do see that some of you could um, end up dealing with that, but I do see expansion of some sort and you celebrating overall. You know, I just feel there could be a little bit of, um, an odd like pressure around you from someone okay we got the six of cups which can be a past energy also a childlike energy innocence giving compassion uh some of you may have a scorpio coming into your life here or a fire sign what's going on with the six of cups um it does represent past energy though i do feel like for a lot of you you're going outside of your comfort zone you're embracing an unfamiliar an unfamiliar path okay doing something different from what you've done in the past but i do feel like for some there is a person from the past taking a leap on you this person could have their moon or rising sign in Scorpio, Cancer, or Aquarius. But, you know, I do feel like there's something this individual might be unsatisfied with. So they could be having some sort of return into your energy. They've been watching you. Some of you an air sign. Um, but, you know, I feel like they're trying to do something different. That's the energy that I get here, the theme overall, whether it has to do with you specifically and stuff you want to do differently from what you've done in the past, or it's someone you've dealt with who's like, I want to do this differently. I want to try something again. So there's that type of vibe here as well, where it's like they're unsatisfied. They're not happy with the way that something turned out or with the way they handled a situation. Some of you, though, they're unhappy with like a connection that they were recently in. So um, that could be why they're, why they're leaping towards you as well. They're taking a risk, even though they feel like you're, you're going to avoid 
avoid them. So that's interesting, but that's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius. I hope this was helpful or fun. Details are down below for anybody who is interested in that deal I have on personals. Like I said, it's a three question video read. It's 3333. Uh, you get it within three business days. Um, but yeah, you know, and that's uh, open until the end of the day, Saturday, April 20th. If you're interested, of course, everything's down below. But if this is where we part, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.